Good for you, Casey. That'll net you that material wealth you crave. In the game Space Rift, I speak the voice of Zainab, the engineer on the station. Zainab is um, a young woman in her late 20s, early 30s. She has to work with Casey Black, which is a difficult relationship for her. It started because Casey got the job that she would have liked to have had. So there's a lot of jealousy at play at the beginning. But um, Zainab is very professional, she's very ambitious, and she works hard to get through those emotional feelings that she has to make sure that they complete missions and do their job properly. It means a lot to her to complete her work and also to impress her boss. Still no life signs. There's one escape pod missing. So that's it? What happened to the rest of the crew? No clue. But the scan revealed more traces of that material we're looking for. Icon says to keep her eyes peeled for a storage container. Let's broaden the search. This was a particularly hard role to speak in that Zainab is a girl who grew up on the streets. She's from the slums. She has a military training. So she's quite a hard nut to crack, but she's also deeply caring. So that balance between the feminine and the caring side of her and the very hard, ambitious, military trained um, girl she is, sometimes a hard um, balance to get and she would often swing from one to the other. She has a lot on her mind. She's keeping all the balls in the air. So she gets irritated quite quickly. She can sound much harder than she really means it to be. I'm reading weak life signs. Probably a person in cryostasis. It's... wait. Scan detected. Automatic transmission of text. My name is Dr. Alexander Suarez. Icon knows me from her days at WACE. I hope you too understand what you have done. This is mutiny. I speak Dr. Vanessa Icon. She is the head of station. She's very cool, calm, unemotional. She's a leader. She doesn't suffer fools gladly and she does not. Uh, abbreviate her words in any way. She's very specific and very um, forthright, and she knows exactly what she wants. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hello. Hey, Wolfgang. Hi. So, Nick, I'm not alone. With me is Beate Hello, and Nick. Milan, which is the director for the whole Hello. thing. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you doing, guys? Yeah, everything's went well so far. We had two brilliant voices before and now it's up to you to impress us as well. Impress us. Ein äh, nicht zu unterschätzender Faktor äh, in unserem Beruf ist in gewisser Weise auch die Psychologie. Und das bedeutet eigentlich, dass man mit all den Menschen, Kreativen und Künstlern, die da zusammenkommen, um ein gutes Produkt herzustellen, dass man da mittelnd einfach tätig wird. Das bezieht sich natürlich auf technische Sachen, es bezieht sich aber eben halt auch auf das Persönliche. Also wenn man merkt, dass zum Beispiel ein Regisseur und ein ähm, Schauspieler aneinander vorbeireden, dann schaltet man sich ein und im Laufe der Jahre bekommt man da so ein bisschen Erfahrung, äh, wie man dafür sorgen kann, dass die Sachen vorwärts kommen. Uh, do you want to change something? For, uh, no, the first ones are not that okay. important because they are just informative mm -hmm. for the waste uh, waste workers. Okay. Waste so, workers. Um, so you mean um, basically a, a bit less melody in this voice, right? No, the, the melody is fine, but it needs to be sometimes in the one that he did before. Um, he had some uh, some parts where it became really soft. Oh, okay. really weak, mm -hmm. and he shouldn't be weak. Okay. okay. Uh, there's 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 not much weakness. So in it's him. not about the melody; it's just the the attitude that. The yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, he now begins to really unfold his personality in these, uh, in these things. So. Okay, and here we are for the next one. Oh, you have to have a director who knows exactly what they're talking about and um, it's brilliant when you do and somebody who's got a very clear direction uh, that is wonderful to work with. In dieser Produktion arbeite ich ja mit dem Milan zusammen 
Und das ist natürlich eine sehr angenehme äh, Zusammenarbeit, weil er relativ genau weiß, was er will. Und das ist immer für uns sehr gut, weil dann können wir uns im Grunde genommen ganz in den Dienst der Sache stellen und müssen eigentlich auch keine Rücksicht nehmen äh, auf Animositäten oder sonst irgendwie was, sondern das, das läuft eben einfach. As a director during the voice acting, I mostly let the characters uh, speak for themselves because I think that the actors actually have a very good notion of what they are being, what they are supposed to do. Um, then just when there's some uh, problems with intonation or maybe they have skipped a word, um, I dive in to, to correct them on that. But I'm also lucky to have a great team um, because um, there are many things that uh, you miss with only two ears or even four. So it's best to have a, a team of three or four people all listening to the same thing. Uh, that was uh, that was really good. I like that. The only sentence that uh, I thought uh, was a bit too much was uh, a spot on the arc was there was too much intonation there. Uh, it was it was too um, too pronounced. A spot on the arc um, is is just something. It's it comes off the tongue as one more or less. The team atmosphere is terrific. Everybody knows what they're doing. It's no no nonsense. You're just uh, you're part of the team, and everybody's doing what they need to do. Nice, no no messing about. Whenever I did voice recording with actors, it was one of the most fun experiences of the whole development phase. Because first of all, it is really fun to select voice actors because you get a lot of samples and they're mostly really funny because they're from advertisement or some extravagant uh, voice that they have done for some other games. And then you have to select a voice that you think fits the most for your character. But that is only part of the work. Most of the work then happens when you're actually inside of the studio with the actors and you have to, over maybe even 15 minutes, half an hour, try to come together and find the right voice, voice for the character. Sometimes it's not even the voice that I had in mind, but the actor through their acting, they convinced me that this is even better than I had thought of. And this is pretty much what happened today as well. Die Sprecher sind eigentlich wirklich das, das Wichtigste daran, das muss man ganz klar sagen. Und da sind wir in der glücklichen Lage, aufgrund der vielen Jahre, die wir das jetzt schon machen, einen Zugriff zu haben, eben halt auch auf sehr viele gute deutsche Leute, sowie eben halt auch international. I really hope that you have as much fun with Space Rift as we had developing it. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you think when it comes out. Space Rift. Available summer 2016 for PC and all major VR headsets. <laughs>